Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to maximize the volume of a rectangle in calculus. Well, you can't exactly take the volume of a rectangle because a rectangle is a two-dimensional shape, and volume assumes that it's a three-dimensional shape. So, if you want to take the volume of a rectangular prism, that's a three-dimensional shape, so you can do that using the formula volume equals length times width times height, right, of the rectangle, or you can learn how to maximize the area of a rectangle, which I think is a more interesting problem. Area is length times width, right? Now, when you're finding, you know, the maxim when you're maximizing the volume, um, the volume or the area, you're going to find the first derivative, right? Find the first derivative. And then you're going to set it equal to zero. So you will solve for L or W, right? You can use the perimeter as well. And um, because you know that the perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. So you can use that equation. Um, to plug back into here, then find the first derivative, then set it equal to zero, and that will give you the value when you've maximized the area of the rectangle in calculus. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with us today.